we're going to be reviewing the Red Grass Gaming 360 degrees ergonomic handle and I'm going to give you some pros and cons over other painting handles. Hey, I'm Tabletop Mike, miniature painter, tabletop game enthusiast, and I also stream on Twitch. So, some background on the handle. Uh, this is the uh, Red Grass Gaming's Kickstarter campaign that was launched in May 21, uh, 2020, uh, which was fully funded in the same day. Um, this is an upgrade on their first handle that was produced around like two years ago. I have no experience with the with the first handle, but the Kickstarter campaigns mentions a few features and improvements. Um, some being smooth 360 degree rotation, uh, quick release top, ergonomic handle, magnetic dock, um, mounting putty, and holds bases from 10 to 50 millimeter. So the base pledge was 12 euros. Um, then uh, goes up from there if you wanted to throw in extras like extra tops, putties, and so on. All pledges come with a wet palette guide written by the amazing uh, Angel Geraldes. The wet paint will be in a separate video. I'm currently testing that out. So once I've got it all tested out, then I'll come back to you with a review on that. So the campaign ran superbly. Um, as I said, it launched in May 21 and mine arrived 20th of July. So that's two months after the launch of the campaign. So fantastic. Right, let's switch to the desk cam and look at the components more closely. And here we have, here's the four basic components. We have the handle, the uh, top, the putty, and the magnetic dock. So basically what you would do is that you would pop the top on, pop the potty, the putty on top, and then you can get your based miniature and put that on top like here and then you would have your 360 degrees rotation here um, and then we also have our docking station here so basically this is a sticker that you can stick somewhere on your desk and then you can put your handle on and it's pretty strong so it shouldn't tip over Right, let's jump uh, straight into the pros. Um, the pistol grip is re really comfortable in your hands for both right and left-handed people. The rotation, uh, so we have a rotation uh, on top as well that most handles don't have, which is fantastic. Um, the quick release, so if we're working on more than one miniature, we can click that in and ready to go rather than completely changing the whole handles. And one of the good things as I like is that once the base is on top, it doesn't actually cover the rim of the base. Unlike say the Citadel handle that when it's actually in, it covers some of the base. So you'd actually have to take the model off to paint around the rim of the base. You don't get that with this. So let's jump straight into the cons. Um, price wise, now Citadel handles are six pounds. So we're talking like half the price of the red grass uh, handle. Um, and obviously putty. Now the putty is gonna go off at some point so you will need to buy replacement putties, obviously. Citadel handle is just one piece. It's, nothing's going to go off on that. Um, but basically, that's the only two cons I could really think of. Uh, so my conclusion on this, um, from using it uh, for a couple of a couple of painting sessions already, 
I mean, I I love it. The the whole rotation of this is perfect. We're not having to move the handle in our in our hands too much. It's great. The the actual pistol grip I found uh, very comfortable in either direction. So. Um, you can grip it like that. I have quite a loose grip on, on the handle anyway, but even if I turned the handle round, I found that my thumb sits nicely actually in the groove where it's meant to sit, like here, um, and my fingers sit quite a nice around the actual uh, curve of it. So they're designed to be held this way, but the other way is, is just as good, just as good. Um, that's pretty much as much as I've used it so far but so far I mean amazing thumbs up uh, I'm gonna be using this a lot uh, a lot in the future so that takes us up to the question of the day do you use a painting handle uh, if so what type uh, throw your answers in the comments below so we can have a look at what everyone prefers guys if you've liked what you've seen in this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you can subscribe to the channel for um, more content like this I'll be doing more reviews in the future unboxings uh, build tutorials all that sort of stuff um, and until our next video just remember build paint and plate